Captain Lego is using his moon buggy to look for the moon rock with the magic crystal. It looks like he found it. Captain Lego is taking the magic crystal to Earth. This galaxy blaster was made to blast from galaxy to galaxy at the speed of light to save the universe from evil space monsters. This galaxy blaster is equipped with moving satellites, a light-up laser, special air vents on the wings, a three-person cab, each with a steering wheel. Hi, I'm David Perger, speaking to you live on Skycam 6. Flying high above Lego City, population 39. And boy, is it a beautiful day for a parade, with just a few clouds in the sky. There's a lot of air traffic above our town today. Most of the businesses are closed, but the... One day, when Penn State was playing Minnesota, they lost. So I went upstairs and built a football stadium with Penn State, Minnesota, Michigan, and Michigan State. Now Penn State can play whenever I want them to, and guess who wins? by the spin-up inverters for missile launch? Sir, we don't even know if they're armed. I said stand by. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Radar lock. 3, Close the blast shield. 2, 1. This is his indoor garden. This is his pool. This is his TV room. And finally, we meet the man himself, Jordan D. Lego. The clock has started. Let's start reading you loud and clear. This is Freedom 7. The fuel is go 1.2G. Kevin at 14 PSI. He goes out and shoots the little boogers down. Then he gives the location of where they hit down to um, alien transport. They go out, find their bodies, come back, Drop them off here at the freezer where they await examination. Put it on on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, cool. This is neat. Okay, three tries. Got it. Yes. One more. Got it. Up. Did you hear that? Sounds like something hit the ship. Better get back. Oh my gosh! No! I got an idea, guys. We'll use the rover's frame and make a spaceship out of it. All aboard! We can't go back in this bad weather. <sighs>
join the army. Yeah. Even though we've had no experience. Yeah. Shut up, you. I'm sorry, but you guys are too physically violent. That's hey, that's what the army's all about. And the whole thing is a submarine and the thing like moves around so you can see it it is re through the submarine to the top is can move and this is what it looks like Die, peasant scum. right here as I'm showing was put there to decorate and for difficulty. There's small room for the ball to get out. There's a carekeeper brushing a bunker. He has a shovel and a broom. Here's a man playing the golf and here's his golf club, golf ball, and, and score sheet. Welcome to the Imperial Grand Prix. The crowd is waiting for the excitement to begin. And the competitors are shaking hands. And they're off. Tommy Turbo surges forward. This is our radar that sends this stuff out. And, um, 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 oh, I forgot. Let's see who our contestants are down on the field of Nabu. Contestants are R2D4 and Pit Droid. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. Here's our first contestant onto the field. <laughs> are the pieces 
for the main body. Peninsula. Jake and Axel Morgan, brothers and fellow astronauts, are searching for the ultimate this treasure of the universe. Weaponite gems for billions of dollars yes. back on Earth. You can hear the motor running. This is an armored vehicle made to transport prize money. animation producers and directors of JB Studios. My assistant Joey has won two awards in a creative art contest in our school district this past year. Alien and tech toys are taking over the world. They have already conquered Antarctica and are now planning to take over Great Britain. I know there's Legoland because I know it's in California, but I love Legos so much, as much as my dad and my mom and my sister. Mm -hmm. 